Here is your African news update. Nigeria. Chinese man kills Nigerian girlfriend for refusing to marry him. A Chinese national, identified as Gen Kwaron, has been arrested in Kano for allegedly stabbing a 22-year-old woman, Umuluku Sumbuhari, to death. Abdullahi Kiawa, police spokesman in the state, confirmed the development on September 17th. According to him, Kwaron, who resides in Nasara Jere in Kano, went to the victim's home at Jumbulo quarters in the state where he was said to have stabbed his girlfriend due to a misunderstanding. The suspect was immediately arrested and the case has been transferred to the Homicide Section Criminal Investigation Department of the Kano State. The deceased was buried on September 17th as per Muslim tradition in Kano City as news of her murder continued to provoke outrage across the state capital. Meanwhile, Nigerians have taken to social media to demand justice for the 22-year-old with hashtag justice for Umita currently trending on Twitter. Chinese nationals living in Nigeria haven't had the best track records in the country as per the activities they are involved with, from illegal mining to illegal fishing, abuse of local workers in Chinese-owned companies, to barring locals from eating at Chinese restaurants. Africa is a significant part of China's Belt and Road Initiative, an infrastructure development strategy to invest in other countries and international organizations. Most of these countries participating in the initiatives are Africans. Chinese banks and companies have funded and built railways, roads, ports, and other projects worth billions in Africa. But some of these initiatives have been marred by accusations of discrimination and abuse of local people by Chinese companies. With more influx of Chinese nationals in Africa, incidences like this of violence and murder may not be isolated due to their negative track records of human rights if strict actions are not taken by the African governments to bar these incidences from occurring. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, follow, share, and like our video. It's the best way of supporting us. And remember, Africa is watching.